cats. Oh yeah, I love cats, man. And sometimes I just wanna, just wanna strangle their little bodies, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, sorry about that. Cats are the cutest creatures on the planet. They're just so small and so squishy, and, and they look at you with those big old eyes and those little ears, and I, I, I've never seen anything so, as cute as just a baby cat, a, a little kitten, and they're so soft and they're so fluffy, and I don't know what I would do without cats. I have 40 of them already. My mom helps me, and she collects them with me, and we our, our house is just overwhelming with cats. I love cats. They're so cute. And I don't, there's just, there, there's just, there's no, there's just no comparison. There are three things that I personally love in this world. Markiplier, double dipped chocolate creamsicles, and cats. But I'll tell you one thing, that cat, that is no cat. She's ruined my life. I I used to be popular on the internet and I would share these memes and I would share these these jokes that all my friends would get. It's probably one of the most painful parts of my life. That little pussy fucking harassed me for so long about Markiplier and all of my fans like made fun of my discords, my likes. I mean all the photos I put up. When I, at that time, I, I, I met PewDiePie at a convention. God, I used to have a beautiful girlfriend before <laughs> ruined my life. And now she's gone. And I'm all alone. Drew penis is all over the photo. Made me sucking a big black <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I just avoid Twitter at all costs because all it is is just her pose. And her messages and her telling me how stupid I am and how, how stupid I look. And she's just awful. I don't understand how she could be that way. So tell me, what's the Twitter handle? Kitty Bear Art. Hello, my lover of felines. It is I, Jimbo Sterling. I am here once again to tell you about the great needs of our feline companions. You, all of you must know me. PhD from the University of Kentucky in Zoology. And I'm here today to talk to you about a particular feline. One nasty little critter that has been causing a bad name for every single feline in its species. Now normally, Jimbo Sterling, you would say, why would you dare take on a case like this? This is, this is, this is way beyond you. And uh, you would be correct to say that. But me and this particular feline, we have quite the history. On a particular Tuesday, not out of the ordinary, just like any other Tuesday, I was sitting at my favorite cafe, partaking in a lovely latte beverage, and w would you know this this heinous little feline with her little feline paws? She comes at me and she steals my favorite cat shirt. And quite frankly, folks, I haven't been the same since that incident. I haven't been the same cat enthusiast since. So aside from the personal attachment I have to this case, my mission today is to find out who in the world or what caused this cute little innocent kitty to stray down this dark, nasty path that she is on. Alright. Well, I'm, uh, underscore X, uppercase X, underscore X, underscore Markiplier fan 69420 underscore lowercase x uppercase x lowercase x. When when Kitty Bear first started attacking me, I I looked into things that she did, and I found this disgustingly poorly drawn MS Paint furry porn, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I like a little furry porn here and there. So what, dog ass? 
It's great. User Katie Bear Art strikes onto the scene in 2015. She likes to make fan art of YouTubers that she worships, such as Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye. But the catch is, it's all furry porn. What, you mean those, those shitty little drawings that I see on the internet? Yeah, they fucking suck, dude. They're terrible. I don't even, I don't even know what they're supposed to be about. I mean, what's the, what's the appeal? Why? Why even make that? Kitty Bear's furry porn is, is appalling. I, I, I can't even, I can't even believe that I've seen it with my two eyes and she just puts it out there for the world. Like, I understand that there are people that, that are into different things and, and I, I, I try to respect everybody, but that's, that's a lot. Slowly, as the artist realized, her work had no future. It had no support. She became bitter. And with that bitterness came insults towards the people who didn't like her art. She would write such nasty, heinous things such as... It just really hurts when she said that her was bigger than my Kitty Bear would then move on from her insulting the people who didn't like her work to straight out drawing heinous, terrible, poorly drawn little images of them. Let's look at some of those. Oh my god! Uh, 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 Jesus! It's, it's awful! I, I, uh, I can't even imagine what a, what a world we live in! It's, it's insanity! See, my first interaction with her was, was actually on CSGO. And it, it wasn't all that bad to start with. Like, she was good and she really destroyed me. But then it just came to a level of just this toxicity of calling me all these names and even like spamming um, my email address. Fuck knows how she got that. And it just, it, it progressed to this, this point where I, I knew I had to contact Jimbo Sterling and, and let my story be heard because I heard about this documentary. And I think that this, this uh, petty, petty, petty mammal needs to be caught. It's just a stick person with hair, man. I don't even, I don't even know how it looks like me. I mean... Nobody's ever drawn me before, but I would imagine if somebody did it, they would do it so much better than what Kitty Bear did. Like, it's just crude stuff. Am I gonna fuck a fish? I, I do it on my own time without photos. I want, I want her to be caught. I don't care what stands in uh, anyone's fucking way. She needs to be caught. During this investigation, I've, I've, I think I've decided what I believe is making this poor little kitty cat so upset. Now, in the next few moments, I will be confronting the kitty I R L. Right now I'm at the base of operations for Kitty Bear Arts. Let's see what, what this nasty cat has in store. Kitty Bear, I know you're in there. Your days of tyranny are coming to an end, Kitty Bear. Kitty Bear, calm down, boy. <laughs> you think you're winning this kitty bear? Well, I, pro I, pro I promise to God you're not winning this right now. Wait a minute, kitty bear. What, is, what does that say on your screen? Huh? What does that say? Kitty, kitty bear, you have zero followers, you fucking loser? What the? Wait, what? What is this? Fuck you. You boring piece of garbage. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm taking my fucking shirt back too. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just. Oh God, it's such a, it's such a loser, man. <laughs> yeah, I just hopped on and I saw it. Kitty Bear 
has zero followers on Twitter. And I'm like, wow, what a fucking loser. You got no friends. <laughs> Another case solved by Jimbo Sterling. Just goes to show you in the case of Kitty Bear Art, if you have no followers, are you even real? Okay, Mom, can you turn off the camera?